Is the golden age of the TV coming to a close? It would seem so, with all these naff programs all over the television about celebrities which mean nothing and they're doing useless stuff which helps nobody achieve anything apart from a bit of crude entertainment value, but to be honest, you could find much more entertainment on the internet, on your PlayStation or Xbox, or, you know, anywhere, in a book, in a CD, in music. And this leads me on to say that if the age of the TV is coming to a close, it would make sense because now is the age of communication, right? People can't talk when they're watching TV, they have to watch the TV or a film or whatever it is. But, you know, if you're on a PlayStation or Xbox playing Call of Duty online, you can talk to your mates, you can play, you can have fun, level up in a virtual world, you know, you can be that celebrity. And for probably many months, even years now, I haven't really watched that much television. Mostly, I have been gaming for the past few years, because it is a lot more entertaining than the TV. But, this is where there is a complete twist in the commentary. I'm not completely against television, right? There is some very good programs on TV. But as I was saying, there are a lot of celebrity programs out now, but those are like one of the focal points of the media, because they are very, like, unintelligent. But that's only one type of TV that you're gonna get. There's like comedy, detective stories, um, scientific stuff. For example, a program about the Antarctic or the Amazon jungle or some River Nile or something. There's loads of programs like that and I just made them up completely arbitrarily but there probably are actual programs on them, no doubt. But what I'm trying to say is that there is a program to suit everybody's tastes or specific tastes or multiple tastes. There's something for everybody and there's like loads of different televising companies. There's so many programs, right? But the message I'm really trying to put across is that there is so many programs, you don't have enough time to watch them all. Neither do you have enough time to play Call of Duty 24 hours every day. Because you gotta sleep, you gotta eat, you gotta go to school, you gotta work, you gotta learn, you gotta have something to do. Yeah? But TV, there's just, yeah, so much of it. You need to choose, be specific. Say, so, let's say you're interested in, as we were saying before, like the Amazon jungle. There's a program on that on watch it, or record it and watch it tomorrow or when you've got time. But try and avoid just sitting there for programs that won't really teach you anything, they won't improve how you think, they won't make you think. I think of TV as a very sort of specialised way of putting across messages. How it tends to work with TV is you'll get a 30 45 or maybe 60 minute program or longer on a topic of um, interest, yeah? And if you watch this for the whole program, they're gonna throw so much information at you which you will find interesting, useful, and give you inspiration. It's honestly, it's so useful. And that's sort of why I don't watch TV much. I do use it as a very specialized tool because that's what it is it's a tool to help people, yeah? Like, I game for the majority of my time because I find it to be more entertaining than, say, said celebrity programs. But, yeah, personally, I think gaming is a good thing to do. Honestly, I'm just going to give you three short offhand reasons about why ga gaming is good, right? Number one, it makes you think fast in a situation to try and give you the best possible output. And what is wrong with that? Nothing. It makes you go with your instincts to try and get a solution that works. Number two, much like real sports, gaming will allow you to communicate with your team and connected to the first point, it will let you come together to make the best solution to try and outmatch your enemies, outsmart them, outplay them, outthink them. That's th one of the best things about gaming is, yeah, some people will say, you play the game. Some people will say the game plays you, but in online gaming, it's, it's a bit different. It's people playing against each other, not playing against the game for the most part. Although, that's a completely different topic. But yeah, that's my rant over. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit more relaxed about what sort of TV programs I, wa TV programs I watch. Because 
Yeah, as I'm saying, I'm using it for very specialist programs. I don't use it that much. Right, so the programs that I watch, they have to have like a very certain quality to them. The last TV program I watched was the final episode in the second series of the Sherlock TV series, which is completely exceptional. Like, I have the first series on Blu-ray, watched that before the second series came out. Very good. They do some, like, they put so many smart ideas into it. So many little things, like, if you're getting 10 minutes into the first episode of the first series, you will, like, already notice all these things that they're trying to throw in to make it unique. And, honestly, it is really unique. They've got great music, great actors, and, yeah, as I was just saying, smart little things. And... It's basically a detective story, and sometimes it's very hard for the common viewer to differentiate between detective stories, but this one sort of clearly cuts out what it wants to be. It's like a very high achieving program. I have watched quite a lot of good quality um, programs, for example, Jonathan Creek is another good high quality detective program, but I have to be honest here, Sherlock is by far my favourite. It is just too well done, honestly. And the good thing is with these sort of programs, they get you thinking because it's all about thinking, trying to outsmart the enemy, or arch enemy in this case. And that's part of the fun when you're putting these clues together to try and come up with the solution. On the other hand, I'm a person who sort of has a thirst for knowledge. I find that knowledge is power, it's interesting. My interest in knowledge base tends to be in science subjects, although there are some really quite interesting geographical programs out there. And to try and um, paraphrase myself to get the final message across before I finish this commentary, if you don't ever watch TV, but you do have a TV or BBC iPlayer that's on the PlayStation 3 for us in the UK, the uh, maybe some um, American or French, German, Dutch... Uh, whatever country those are the first ones that came to mind they might have their own well they will have their own broadcasting systems because they got their own language right but, but yeah it can really pay off and give you interest if you look for a program for example in the radio times or just on the internet a guide for which tv programs are going to be good this week um but if you if you do watch tv a lot a lot like as much as i do gaming then maybe you should try and look for those finer programs that really will make you think you know maybe maybe you do like celebrity programs fair enough i won't i won't i won't ask you to stop watching them but it, i'm just trying to say that it, it can be very beneficial if you if you look into something that's interesting then the majority of the time you're not exactly going to lose anything you can only really gain gain from trying these sort of things but anyway, that is my rant and advice for this commentary over. Um, I hope you enjoyed the commentary and the gameplay. I was pretty psyched for that gameplay. I, I was doing kind of leave it blank, but, but I felt like doing a bit of an argument about TV or something. So um, yeah, if you if you do, if you have something to add or dispute, drop a comment. I'll be happy to uh, take a moment to answer it. Um, if you, if you enjoyed the gameplay especially, feel free to share it with a friend. And hopefully this commentary is in time with the gameplay. And until next time, peace. Squad, get ready for the next job. <laughs>